1957, pilot John Greenwood Crossley flew under the deck while performing a victory roll before crashing in Lee Woods, killing himself outright. Just one of the many incidents and controversies surrounding the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Join us as we take a look at some things you may not know about this iconic structure, as well as some beautiful images of one of the UK's lesser known landmarks. Hello and welcome back to Phil's Drone Zone. And today we are taking a less zany look at the world and I have come to the southwest of England to the Clifton Suspension Bridge to share some things that you may not know about this beautiful feat of engineering. The controversy began in the mid 18th century when it was decided to build a bridge to replace the existing stone bridge. Due to lack of funds, nothing was to become of it until interest was once again stirred in the early 19th century. Two competitions were held in the early 1800s to try to find a suitable design for the bridge. Several designs were entered by Isambard Kingdom Brunel and his designs were rejected in both competitions. The competition was eventually won by Smith and Hawkes, who were declared the winner. However, Brunel had a meeting with the judges in the following weeks and the result was overturned and Brunel awarded the project. What would people say if that happened today? Construction began in 1836, but it was interrupted on several occasions due to lack of funding and the Bristol riots. Work ceased in 1843 with only the towers built. Brunel died in 1859 and the work continued after his death by William Barlow and John Hawkshaw, who changed the design so much that it has been suggested that they should be credited with the design of the bridge. But maybe the design should be credited to Sarah Guppy, who in 1811 designed and patented a suspension bridge over the gorge. Many of her ideas are incorporated in the final bridge, but as a woman in that time, she could not own such intellectual copyright in the form of a patent. The grand opening ceremony on December the 8th, 1864, was lit by magnesium flares, but unfortunately the inclement British weather soon put pay to that, with the wind and rain dousing the flares. The 150th birthday party in 2014 was fortunately glittered by a more modern fireworks display. In November 2003, the bridge was chosen as the backdrop for the last ever flight of the supersonic airliner Concorde, flying over the bridge on her way to retirement at Filton Aerodrome. One of the most interesting facts is that only two men died during the 30 or so years of construction. Since completion, however, the bridge has become known as the Suicide Bridge, and between 1974 and 1993, it is recorded that 127 people fell to their death from the bridge. Barriers were put up in 1998, and this has reduced the amount of suicides by 50%. One of the first known suicide attempts was made in 1885 when 22-year-old Sarah Ann Henley jumped from the bridge following what is believed to be a lover's tiff. When falling, her long Victorian skirt caught in the wind and acted as a parachute, landing her gently in the river mud below. She lived on well into her 80s. So, sit back relax and enjoy some beautiful views of the Clifton Suspension Bridge and its surrounding area. 